Today's tutorial is on one point perspective, just the basics, a box, and how to draw it from wherever you're drawing it from to the vanishing point. <laughs> Enjoy! Alright, in today's video I'll be teaching you the basics of one point perspective. First you want to have a horizon line and a vanishing point. Make sure you only have one vanishing point for one point perspective. Next you want to draw a square and you can measure it out or you can just eyeball it and draw a square. Then you want to take each corner of the square and line it up to the vanishing point. Just take the corners that are closest to the vanishing point because we're doing a solid box. Now you can create a lot of things off of this box. This is just the basics of one point. You can just close up the box. Um, if you weren't using a pen, you could just erase the lines and then you wouldn't see them. Okay, next I'm going to show you a box drawn on the horizon line. You just want to take the one corner and connect it to the vanishing point. Line up your ruler to the box and draw a line. I'm also going to show you a box on top of the horizon line just because it looks different. Um, I've created some really cool spaceships and other things with this type of perspective that are floating up in the air. The box can be turned into lots of different things like bookcases or feeding troughs for animals. This is just something basic. So then you're going to line up the lines, connect them, make sure everything is parallel. You can make um, it's like a little cafe dining area. Same thing, you just line up the corners and you connect them to the vanishing point. I didn't connect them here because I just lined up my ruler without connecting the dots. And now I'm just creating some tables, places um, people can sit and awning, showing you a little bit of um, 3D perspective and one point perspective, creating chairs and tables for people to sit at. And then I can put some light posts in one point, and you can draw a little line to make sure they're all lined up. And you want to get smaller as you go back towards the vanishing point, um, whether that be humans or animals or trees or anything you were doing. Thanks for watching today. If you liked today's tutorial, please give a big thumbs up and like and subscribe and check out my other perspective, 1.2.3.